Hi, welcome to my channel. It is time to prepare a trip to Japan. The Japanese government set up a website to help travelers. This website is called uh, Visit Japan Web Digital Agency. Now I'm going to show you how to get fast track QR codes by using this website. Fast track QR code can save you from waiting in the long lines at the airport. Before you start, you need to prepare some scan files and the documentation and also uh, hotel and flight information. For example, you need a scan of your passport, scan of your COVID-19 vaccination card. After you got through all those steps, you will get fast track QR codes, three of them. The first one is a blue quarantine QR code. Second one is yellow immigration QR code. The third one is blue customs QR code. Let's start by click the link down to the visitor website. The link is on the introduce page. The introduce page is kind of confused. But don't worry, it's on only one click link there, yes. And then you can start create means account. We got to set up and uh, click all the permission stuff. And you get your email address. Uh, choose your password and make sure you are not the robot. And then check your email. You will receive a, a access code from uh, the website. After you type in the code from uh, your email, and the system knows your email address working. And then we'll go to next step. Um, the step uh, four steps the first one comes second one uh, you're going to type in your um, nationality password information and uh, personal information the system lets you review all the information you provide uh, name uh, passport number date of birth and click register after you click the register you got uh, your own account uh, in the system so basically, remember your email address and your password. You can log in this time. After you log in, the first thing you need to do is uh, get the passport upload to the system. And say yes. Now you finish your pre-registration. And go back to top. And then the second step is uh, keep going to the next one is called questionnaire web ask more question so we're going to uh, type in the flight number we're going to stay so far so on and the hotel information and where uh, departure from and some more question and the phone number and in Japan, you verify all the information again and complete the registration. Now you see the second service down, and uh, now we're going to submit vaccine card information or all, all the vaccine information like a first dot, second dot, and the third booster, and upload the vaccination card.
yep, your card is there. After upload, and then we go. Everything looks okay, so register. No bug. And at this moment, I see the color still red. So we go the second day or third day, so you will see card become the card blue. Now this is completed. Sounds good. Code we got the first QR code for the quarantine. And now we start from the uh, immigration portion. The second uh, QR card, uh, QR code. The pretty much the same thing. We answer some question, uh, input some of uh, our the personal data, uh, passport, and gender, and also birthday. Just go step by step. And the home address. Okay, and go next, and the flight number. Yeah, for visiting, what purpose of visiting, and the flight number. And how long you're gonna stay in Japan? A year, months, and days. Now is the information about your hotel. Just type in so it's a hotel. I go next. More question. Now it's go. Now we got the two process already done. Next one is the last one for customers. Uh, pretty much like um, the second the process. Your flight number, your hotel, and what you bring to the, into Japan, so on so far. It's kind of normal like uh, custom check card stuff and how many person and the, the trip, the hotel information. If I have a full total of 14 pages, just be patient, go one by one. After review everything, the same thing like a um, sex uh, process, we just say register. We got uh, all three, one blue, one yellow, another blue. I hope this video help you and uh, hope you have a wonderful trip in Japan. We may meet over there sometime.